Imagine that, an island girl on the run from the sun every Sunday. The Central Library, through its literary festival, is attempting to marry this with a showcase of products from budding entrepreneurs called LitFest. The festival was held in commemoration of Nobel Laureate Week. Several areas of the arts were showcased at the event, which is a spin-off of the Central Library's lunchtime poetry sessions. So we sing Bob Marley so proudly. That after all these years, you figure you still can't emancipate yourselves from mental slavery. It's ridiculous how envious and jealous people could be of the progress of someone's success. If only they knew they could achieve this and greater things by applying patience and ambition. <laughs> Sally Roseman, who is the Director of Library Services, is again heartened by the response to the second staging of the event held in celebration of the arts and achievements of the island's two Nobel laureates. St. Lucia's very own sons of the soil, who happen to share the same birthday but 15 years apart. And what a miraculous coincidence that they both received a Nobel Prize. As a public librarian, it would be remiss of me not to highlight their achievement and acknowledge the potential of our very own budding creatives in poetry, drama, and other forms of literary endeavor. Ms. Roseman says showcasing the products of budding entrepreneurs as a side attraction at the event helps promote their items and gives the small businesses some much-needed exposure. Organizers see local entrepreneurs invited to the lunchtime activity as artists within their own right. This activity in concentrates on highlighting the talents that exist amongst us the creative and performing arts in song and poetry recital. It is therefore my pleasure to welcome you to enjoy our presentations and to speak with our entrepreneurs and patronize them. The literary festival known as LitFest was held under the theme for Nobel Laureate Week 2024, celebrating excellence, inspiring our collective imagination, fostering national pride. Sir William Arthur Lewis received the Nobel Memorial Prize for Economics in 1979, while Sir Derek Alton Walcott received the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1992. The Nobel Laureate Festival honors their accomplishments and triumphs. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney, reporting. <laughs>